What up, niggas? Fuck with your boy. And you fan, 007. Gmail me. Pitchfan12 at Gmail. Fuck with your boy. Check this shit out. I hate you, niggas. This is episode one. You know what? You know why I hate you, niggas? Because you niggas don't ever keep it real. You don't ever just tell the battlers what the fuck they need to progress to be better battlers. I mean, it's really simple. So, this is what I'm going to do. Since you niggas are all scary and shit, I am going to talk to the battlers. I don't care if they don't like me because I am angry because I'm a fan of these niggas and I still don't like them. If that makes sense. If it doesn't, oh well. Get used to it. I'm here now. Yo. Number one. Young L. Check this shit out. You did great against Sue Surf. You did fucking great. You 3 old Sue Surf. You did. You 3 old that boy. Bad. You shook that nigga up. You have not won clearly a battle since Surf. That is fucking crazy. You had a debatable with Calico. You had a debatable. Well, that 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 was before Surf. You started right there with that debatable. You had a debatable with Cal. Then you beat Surf. Debatable with Rich. Debatable and Rich Dollars. The only thing that saved you that made it debatable was the stinky Yankee fitted. With Calico, it was the smack. Who is this nigga? Then you battled DNA. That was debatable. I mean, what the fuck? You even knew this nigga's round. And you still, it was still debatable. You were standing there with them stupid ass shades on and shit. Looking all dumb like you was, like, I don't understand that shit against Rich. I mean, what the, what are you doing? Are you trying to fucking win? People are saying you're top tier. We're trying to make an argument of you being top tier. Why are we saying you're top tier? Oh, Red beat the shit out of you. JC was, deba uh, was debatable. I mean, what the fuck? Cortez beat you so bad the battle didn't drop, nigga. Like, it didn't drop. That's how bad you was. And you're running around in these horrible battles, sitting here saying that people got to pay you anyway. Why? Because it's in the contract. You, my nigga, are shaky. I would not invest too much money into you because I don't know what the fuck is going on. We like you because of the old you. What are you going to do when you come back? Please, if you're going to come back, come back. Don't come back and play no fucking games. Like, don't do that shit, okay? Because that's all you have been doing, it seems like, since Surf. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm kind of hard on you. Oh, well, if you ask me, B-Magic might have already taken your spot in St. Louis. Yes, he took your spot. How many bad battles are we going to let you slide on? Not that many. So if you're not going to come back with a killer mentality, like Verb and Hitman are hyping it up to be, like you're going to be the best ice pack ever, then chill. Get a beer, smoke a blunt, and just watch these niggas battle. You don't have to come and fuck the St. Louis shit up. That's what you'll be doing if you lose, I'm just saying. C.S. Yo, if you're not watch Queen of the Ring, watch C.S. She's down with Dot Mob. She has a wordplay. Check this shit out. What's up with you and your choking? Like, yo, you don't win either. I'm just noticing this shit. Everybody who has who is comp, who steps in front of you, beats you. What the fuck are you doing losing to everybody? Now you're about to battle Gaddis. You do realize if Gaddis beats you, you're going to be on a wild losing streak, right? Like, I don't even know if you're this whole, you're running from Bonnie. I don't know what the fuck is going on with you. But you need to chill the fuck out. You need to put the burger down, pick up a fucking salad and your motherfucking notepad and get this shit popping. And I'm not dissing you. Because you're fat, I'm saying you're obviously preoccupied because you're not on your shit. And I actually thought you was nice, and now that I'm looking at everybody else, and you, you're not. You fooled me too. It's disgusting. Anyway, hope you're listening. DNA, I really don't know what the fuck to tell you. I mean, you have bars, you're top tier in URL, you're top tier in KOTD, you're top tier in grind time. Yet, you're still, like, no one takes you serious. You want to know Why? I don't have the full answer, but I have a very strong part of the answer because you're taking your fucking tooth out your mouth and you're like talking to it in battles and throwing it in crowds. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Did you forget what happened with X-Factor and the priorities? Nigga, you didn't have a tooth for mad long. Then you got it fixed by the welfare. You quickly pointed that out to everybody so we would know where you got your tooth fixed at. And then you don't have it again. What the fuck? Are you scamming the tooth fairy? What are you doing right now? Like, yo, keep your fucking tooth in your mouth. No, nigga. Keep it in the mouth, nigga. Keep it. Keep. Yo. Keep it in your mouth, bro. Stop all this full shit you doing. Talking about the old you is back. Fuck the old you, okay? You got it fixed because it was your priority, nigga. Not so you can fuck around and take it the fuck back out your mouth. Like, stop that shit. You are looking like a fucking fool. And you want it to take you serious and you're doing shit like this. No nigga is going to do that on URL. Just to let you know. Nobody's going to do that. But... I should have seen this shit coming when you battled little when you battled Rome and you had the fucking bomb on your chest. I should have known then that you really would rely on extra shit to win. Not knocking you. You're still for you're still top tier. I'm just saying, man. 
You got to chill with that tooth shit. That shit is not the way to, that's not the way to solidify anything. Except for jokes, alright? Disaster. My nigga, you got to write, okay? The freestyling shit's not working. You lost to Cortez. No one in URL even respects Cortez. I mean, I fuck with Cortez. He had bars. That battle, that battle, I fuck him. Let's not get it wrong. But when it comes to the URL, the last, like, person, I don't know why, for whatever reason, is Cortez. So you definitely should not have lost to the nigga. How do you beat Rex but lose to Cortez? It just doesn't add up, nigga. It doesn't add up. And you might have dropped the ball big time because you're trying to battle URL battlers. You actually needed to beat Cortez. You could beat Rex and Cortez. I mean, you lost the DNA. You had a classic first round, but you lost the DNA. That's one URL rapper. Then you got Cortez you just lost to. Like, you needed to beat him. If you had beat Rex and Cortez that same week, we would be talking crazy about you. Like, yo, you're about to battle Verb. I know you don't think you're going to freestyle and beat Verb. Like, I need you to take this shit serious. And I'm a Verb fan. I need you to take this shit serious. Okay? I thought you was going to beat Cortez. I can't front. I'm disappointed you lost. Like, I'm mad you lost the DNA. I am. I'm a grind time fan. Gotta understand where the fuck I am coming from here. Just saying. Jonathan Adon, I don't know how the fuck your status is rising and all that shit. Because you're a fucking thief. I mean, you stole Howard Adon's name. You fucking around. You had the audacity to... to you had the audacity to call Howard Adon out in grind time to battle for the name. Who the fuck are you to be calling Hollow the Don out to be battling for his name, nigga? Like, no. No, 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 no. You fucking thief, no. And you know another reason why I'm pissed at you, my nigga? Because you're a fucking liar, son. You sat there and looked at them not goddamn face and you said you never even heard Sirius Jones... Multiple choice scheme when you did it. You a fucking liar. Of course you heard it. You're a battle fan. How did you not hear it? Of course you heard it. You heard it and you stole it. And then when we brought it to your attention, you didn't even stop using it. You just kept using it. You know why? Because you're not original. You're sitting here talking about, oh, I flip bars. That's the original. I flip your illest bars against you. No, you don't. You're not original at all, my nigga. Just stop the bullshit. Stop fucking lying to us. Okay, you're a fucking thief. That's all you are. You're a thief. Like, you're a fucking Thief, and it hates, it hurts, it, it, it hurts my heart that these niggas are sitting here giving you props and shit, and you have stolen most of your fucking career. It is ridiculous to me. Like, I mean, you was on a wild losing streak in grind time. A wild losing streak in grind time. You come to URL, and it's just, this, this is because of you, Cyborg. You were supposed to beat Juzilla, man. I don't know what the fuck you were thinking. Going so light with Juzilla. And now John and the Don is up here and you're down here. And grind time, it was like this. Now it's like this in URL. That makes no sense to me. Fuck you, Lotta Fuck you. Because you wrote for Carney Kush, now rumors are starting. Now they're saying you're running for Miss Hustle. Yeah, right. Why the fuck would Miss Hustle let you write for her? Like, you're not even that good no more. Fuck that shit. I used to like you. I don't know more. That was some real bitch shit you did writing for Kwani Kush. Now the game is exposed now. Now they're trying to say that Arsenal is running for official. Yes, people are saying that, and I think they're stupid. It's obvious the females in Queen of the Ring are fighting their own bars. You had one rotten apple that was filthy, filled with worms and slugs and all that good shit. And it's gone now, okay? It's gone now. So we don't have to worry about Kwani ass, six lip singing and shit. A lot of Zay shit. I mean, it's disgusting how they did that. And then a lot of Zay, you're a liar. You're a faggot. You're sitting here talking about... That the reason why you exposed it was because you felt bad for the Queen of the Ring chicks who were sitting down putting in that work and Kwani wasn't. When you're lying, you did the shit over some personal shit. I mean, it's already leaked. We already know. So why did you lie to us? You're a fucking liar and I'm not going to let you slide. No, I'm not. Fuck you. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck out of here. Fucking Jersey doing that bullshit, nigga. Hate that shit. Fucking now you want to sit here trying to talk about Queen of the Ring. Queen of the Ring is dope. Don't let Lotta Zay fool you. Okay? Don't. Just don't. That's why I was dealing with a monster. Fucked you up, Lotta Zay. He killed you, son. He killed you. I'm on your ass, Lotta Zay. Pause. But don't think you won't get a pass from me with this, this ghostwriting shit. You're not getting none. Fuck that shit. None. Hey, Smack. Guess what? I fuck with you, real nigga shit. That UFF shit, that's a good look. You're going to keep it leaking the dirty versions. I mean, I have four TVs in my house. Yes, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to turn them all on 
Friday at 6 o'clock on Ultimate Free Out Friday. So you can get your ratings. I mean, I don't want you to stop. Just keep dropping battles. I don't give a fuck what league it is, Smack, because you don't drop bullshit battles. You have the best opponents. Which leads me to YK. I really don't know what the fuck to tell you anymore, my nigga. I mean, it's not even about bars anymore. Now niggas are just aiming at your gear and your clothes and shit. I'm not saying you dress like a bum, but I mean, I don't know. That shit versus Old Red, that sweater, that started some, that little shirt you wore against Old Red started some shit, man. Because now niggas don't respect you at all. They just want to come at your gear like you wear Paco pajamas and you're wearing fucking Old Navy socks. I don't know. These niggas are tripping on you. You need to reconstruct yourself. And I don't know. Maybe your next battle just take all your game by clothes. I don't know what the fuck to tell you, but your bars are there. Even though in that UFF shit, you sounded exactly like B Magic, and I don't like that shit. You need to stick with your style. Though you sounded exactly, exactly like B Magic, nigga. Like that's not even fucking cool right there. But I fuck with you still. Smack. I'm out. I'm gonna help you, man. Fuck it. Do you know no one else wants to tell the battle rappers? I'm gonna tell them for you. But since you're condoning that I'm talking to the battle rappers, let me talk to you for a second. You see this shit, Smack? This is what you call a watch, okay? When you give me a fucking time for a battle, like 4 o'clock, I'm thinking that it's going to be 4 o'clock. You said we was on real nigga time. What time zone are you in? Let me know so that I can fly there and get a watch from where you live at so that we can I can be on real nigga time because I'm not on real nigga time, which is why I keep missing the battles when they're supposed to drop. You dropped it around 9, you said 4. It went from 4 to 8. It went from 8 to 9, then it dropped. Now, this Twiz already clarified that he had to get in the HD. Shout out to Twiz, I'll fuck with you. That's cool, but I'm just saying, let's just try to get a little bit closer to real nigga time so I know what the fuck I am doing. Thank you. Yo, what's going on with some madness? Hello, I have a job. I need to tell my boss something. Let me know something. Get at me. Fuck with your boy, Angry Fan 7 This is episode number one of Why I Hate You Niggas. Get ready for episode number two. We're going to be talking about Big K and the other people who are supposed to be good who really aren't anymore. Later.